Hi there, in this video we are going to look into shared pointer. It's one of the smart pointer being recommended to use in C++ 11 onwards. So what is a shared pointer? Many of us must have heard about auto pointer and this is the bare minimum code of a shared pointer and let's see what the output will be. I've created a struct with a constructor and destructor so that it will print when it get constructed and when it get destructed. So if I just run the code, it it happens that it print constructor as well as destructor so that's correct so basically this is what it's supposed to do and it does that so we don't need to explicitly delete that okay now why use shared pointer what is more with the shared pointer as compared to any other pointer to understand this let's let's create a function which returns a shared pointer and uh, it does the thing what we are currently doing in main right now so I am creating a shared pointer over here. Let's say I am not returning anything. I am just returning null pointer. And in main, I am writing some text to just put a sequence to the execution. And I am calling the function. And I am calling writing exit main. Okay. So now if I will run this program, let's see the output. So we will get inter main, which is expected. Then we call the function it goes there we call the constructor we call the destructor and exit main so it's pretty much simple as of now okay that this this calls this uh, and that's all but how, how does we know what is shared pointer now so the things will start to change if we take if you return shared pointer from here and take the shared pointer from in here so if i take a shared pointer of same class let's say spirit calling the function so let's see i run the program now the sequence has changed you can see inter main now we are calling the function it creates the shared pointer and you can see the constructor gets called now it comes back it says the exit main and then the destructor gets called so basically when it goes out of the scope the destructor doesn't get called that means this object is not deleted why because shared pointer is uh, capable of two things one is that transfer of ownership as well as multiple ownership that's why the shared name comes from shared pointer means multiple ownership of our same object so as of now it's transferring the ownership from here to here so this ownership is taken by this shared pointer spirit and when it goes out of the scope is delete state and this will be more clear when we let's say we are not taking it so we are anyway anyway returning uh, shared pointer but we are not taking it back over here and we'll run it let's see what happens now you see the sequence has changed in the function caller the constructor get called but before this return i mean after this return before coming back here the destructor gets called why this is the beauty of shared pointer because here it knows that there is no other shared pointer to take it though i am returning it from a function but there is no other shared pointer which is taking the ownership so it has to delete it okay the thing share pointer do with this is uh, by the help of this reference count shared pointer maintains a reference count okay and uh, things will be more simpler if we just create one more shared pointer for example now let's get rid of um, this intermain So we have a shared pointer and let's again get rid of this and I'm creating a new shared pointer sp2 and I'm calling it sp red. So before this um, I just want to check the reference count. The way to check a reference count of shared pointer is, is calling a function called huge count. Okay. So just to be clear ref count equal to okay and we we now created a uh, second uh, second shared pointer which is uh, pointing to the same shared pointer let's see the reference count of both of them so uh, in using sp rate and sp2 also now let's run the program and see what's the output will be so it's constructor as expected but now you see in this line reference count is 1 in this line reference count is 2 for both the pointers 
so basically both are uh, referring to the same or uh, same pointer same object which is being created and um, it's maintaining its reference count until the reference count is there the object will not be deleted for example i'll um, I'll, I'll just add some value into this so if i say sp there is a variable and i put the value as 100 and when i come back here and i want to put the value from sp rate dot variable as well as i would like to put sp2 dot sorry dot arrow variable so if you run that both of them should print 100 and it is printing that so you use dot to i uh, use the functions of shared pointer arrow to use the functions of the i mean treat it as it is a normal pointer so that now the last thing about shared pointer is to use of make shared so look at this line i am creating a memory by calling new asterisk there is another way of doing it which is like instead of doing this i can say make shared and it will achieve the same output so what is the difference between new and this this is going to be faster as compared to new most of the time especially for complex data types and while using shared pointer use make shared that that's the recommendation i'll give so that's all about shared pointer i hope i managed to explain it to you if you want to learn more about it uh, i have a github page over here about uh, shared pointer the link of which i will anyway provide in the description it will describe the things in the same way uh, i have explained in this video thanks a lot for watching thanks a lot bye good day